So today I'm bringing guys a brand new sports cards video. In today's video, we are going to be breaking down some of the hottest cards on the market, what is causing them to go up, and whether I believe they're going to go down or they're going to continue to go up. Um, so without further ado, we're going to hop right into the video. Um, so first, we're going to be going over some football because we have seen some of the most steepest increases and the steepest decreases in the football market recently. Um, of course, the Super Bowl is coming up. There's a lot of hype around certain players, but there's also a lot of players who are seeing a big drop in their prices right now. Um, so if we go ahead to the 30-day change market, um, you can see that some guys who had better than expected playoffs have seen the greatest increase. Um, so you have guys like Jordan Love, who wasn't expected to beat the Cowboys. He was able to get that win, and you've seen his prices rise 45% over the last 90 days. Um, so that is one of the hottest players that we see on the football market right now. Of course, you have other guys, running backs, um, you know, such as Gibbs, McCaffrey, um, and just an overall you know, surge in skill players because as you guys know, um, Niners and Chiefs in the Super Bowl, those guys are going to be really hot leading up to the Super Bowl. Um, but whoever, after the Super Bowl, I do expect a decrease in a lot of these players who are getting an artificial hype up for the Super Bowl. Um, so that can be guys like Christian McCaffrey, Brock Purdy, um, Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, etc. cetera. <laughs> um, but if you look to the guys who are falling a lot right now, it is guys who had extremely disappointing seasons, um, guys who you can think of like Desmond Ritter, guys who you know perform badly in the playoffs, such as Tua, Hurts, and Prescott. Um, and these could be good buying opportunities because during the offseason leading up to next year, you're going to see a resurgence in the demand for you know all quarterbacks across the league. And oftentimes when a guy's market dips a little bit too much, um, you know, you can see a correction start to happen um, and prices start to bounce back up. I expect that to happen with Hertz and Tua. Um, Prescott, I believe at this point, is kind of getting to the little bit on the older side. Um, you know, Hertz and Tua were class of 2020. Prescott's class of 2016. Um, so you can start to see that prices on older quarterbacks will start to fade downwards over time. We're likely going to see that with Prescott, but I'm personally a buyer in Tua and Hertz's market. Even Lamar, I don't know why he's not on this list yet, but his card market has started to really cool off um, since his loss. Um, we can see some cards like his National Treasures BGS9. This card right here was trending very strongly. Um, sorry, I meant to put out of 99. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of Lamar cards that have really, really, really cooled down even with most recent sales. So if you look at the last alt auctions, um, you can see that this Na National Treasures BGS 9 um, you know, was a $14,000 card right before they lost. And it literally almost cut in half, um, you know, the week after. So this card literally dipped um, around $6,000 in pretty much with one playoff loss. Um, and so you can definitely see a lot of price movement in the NFL. If a player, you know, doesn't perform up to par, you know, Lamar was the favorite to make the Super Bowl and they didn't. So his prices are really starting to see a decrease. Um, but if we head over to the basketball card market, we can see that a lot of players are hyped, getting hyped up before the playoffs. Um, so we see Anthony Edwards sitting at the number one seed as I'm recording this video. We see Jalen Williams, of course, on the red hot thunder. Um, you know, we see a lot of opportunity in the market for guys heading into the playoffs. Guys like Kawhi Leonard, who's known to be a playoff player, and his card market has been really soft and is starting to pick back up, which is a great sign. Um, you know, and I just think overall, whoever makes big runs in the playoffs, so you could see guys like this, um, you know, start to see 30, 40 percent increases if they do well in the playoffs. Um, so I think that's where we're starting to see the hype. And I we're seeing great sell offs of guys who may not make the playoffs. Um, guys like Jalen Green, Kobe White, um, you know, Kate Cunningham, of course, on the Pistons, definitely not making the playoffs. Um, Shaden Sharp. So a lot of guys who are not making the playoffs are seeing big price decreases. But if you look at the guys who are making the playoffs, um, you know, guys like Westbrook and Bede, Jalen Williams, you know, Shea Gilgis, 
Kawhi Leonard, um, Anthony Edwards. These guys are all heading into the playoffs and are going to be very hot. Um, so I definitely think there's a lot of opportunity in the basketball car market right now. I think a lot of, after the Super Bowl, I think there's going to be a big sell-off in, of football cards and a big buy-in for basketball cards. Um, so I did make a video on specific players I'm buying before the playoffs. I'm not going to cover this in this video, um, but it's definitely interesting to see some of the guys who are really increasing. And if you look to the baseball card market before the season, you you start to see a lot of players really start to heat up. Um, of course, you're going to have guys go down like the Wander Francos, but overall, the, you know, trending up list is a lot, lot stronger than the trending down list. Um, so these are just some of the, you know, hottest guys heading into the next season. Um, Jackson Holiday, of course, Spencer Jones, all these top prospects that are, you know, pr it's pretty... Um, predictable that they would be up here heading into the baseball season. So I hope you all enjoy this little market update video. If you enjoyed, smash the subscribe button. We are on our way to 50,000 subscribers. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'm out. Peace.